You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming at you another Let's Play episode of Dawn Chorus Rune's Path. So this is day two content for Rune. Um, yep, much to our dismay, not much happened last night, but it was an important first step. And I don't know why, but every it seems like every time I start the game up, it reverts not safe for work content back to off. It's weird. I have to change it pretty much every time. So I went back to see if I'd missed anything for Rune, but no, it was the same scene. So anyway, guys, let's just jump right into it. Let me entertain you for the next 20 minutes. Alarm chain is all set and good to go, and let's jump right into it. <clears throat> time for the Earth to wake up again from its winter slumber. I like winter too, as all the other seasons, but they all have their but they all have their time place and purpose. The transitions between them feel especially meaningful. Winter is a time of introspection, a pause from the hectic pace of the everyday, and an opportunity for transformation. When the spring comes after, it feels like being born anew. Yet the town feels almost eerily calm today, as if nobody wanted to disturb this quiet stillness. Everything feels frozen in time, like a snapshot of reality. The only sound I hear is the rustling of leaves, and it sounds like beautiful music. Moments like this make me understand why 433 exists. What is that? What is that? I should learn to play piano. I want to learn to make beautiful sounds and weave them into the ensemble of the sounds around me. So I guess that's a song. Maybe someday I could make someone happy with my playing. That would be enough to make the effort worthwhile. Maybe that person could even be a certain deer. I'm back home. The air here is much chillier, and I already miss the feeling of the sun on my face, but I'm happy to have returned. Hey, I'm back! I put the bags of groceries down to take off my shoes, then pick them up again and move to the kitchen. Taking out items one by one, I think of all the dishes I can make with them. I can use half the carrots, celery, and I need to make sofrito, then use the sofrito and lasagna and hop and john. The rest of the carrots might go into a carrot cake, or maybe into a soup. Lentils will go into a dal, ta dal uh, to a dal tadka. I can make a bigger batch over the weekend, and the rest might end up in in dunsack if I feel fancy. And I put my paw into my pocket to pull out my phone, and instead of it, my paw reaches something soft and boxy. I grab it and take it out. It's a box of matches, an oddly warm box of matches. It's getting hotter and hotter in my grip. I'm woken up by the beeps of an electric kettle. I haven't heard my alarm yet. Neither, either I turned it off or I slept through it. Or it's too early for it to ring and that possibility terrifies me. Groaning, I sit up on the bed and rub my eyes. Nope. First thing I see is an athletic deer wearing only a pair of boxers walking across the room to the window. It's not what I expected, but I'm not complaining. Although it would have been even nicer waking up next to him. That's what I had hoped would happen. Hmm. Oh, you're up. Rune, what time is it? 6.02 at the moment. That explains why it's still so dark. I set my alarm at 6.40, just enough time to put on my clothes and brush my teeth before breakfast, but I didn't ask Rune when he wakes up. Apparently the answer is early. Too early. How is your sleep? I see you're full of energy. No, I feel totally dead. I didn't really sleep much after I woke up... After I woke up some time after 5 a.m., I just gave up on sleeping. That's why I'm making some matcha now. A cup of that would wake up anyone. Matcha? What's that? I don't think I've ever heard the word, but I'm so sleepy that I can barely recall my own name. That's a powdered green. It's powdered green tea leaves. When you drink it, you don't just you don't just drink the extract, but whole leaves. And how about you? I'm feeling well rested? Ah, uh, no. I'm still internally debating on whether I want to leave the bed at all. Sorry for waking you up. I tried to keep quiet, but the kettle has no silent has no silent mode. I'm making a cup for you too. That should help. Hmm. I'm rather skeptical. Honestly, a cup of coffee sounds more appealing now. There should be some at breakfast, though. I feel like I'm going to need quite a lot of it. Okay, I'm getting up. I'm wearing only boxers, but I think Rune would. But I don't think Rune would mind judging by his current attire. I rub my sleepy eyes and sigh. My paw pads touch the cold floor, and I immediately feel an urge to get back into the warm bed. But, resilient, I stand up, accomplishing the heroic feat of getting out of bed. Barely minutes after six on top of that. 
I can really be proud of myself. I already regret everything. Nah, come on, it's not that early. Six in the morning is the best wake-up time. The world is always so calm at that hour. And you get to see the sunrise. Would he get mad if I bonked him with something? He probably would. We're above the Arctic Circle, and it's October. The sunrise is like in an hour. Yeah, but it's about building habits. Life gets much easier once you have good habits in place, and it's almost zero effort to maintain them. Give me a moment now. The water should be cool enough to not now to brew matcha with. Actually, he's right about that. Once you get habits in, good habits, they're hard to break. Meanwhile, I walk up to the chair on which I left my clothes last night and put on the t-shirt. Huh? What are you doing with the milk frother? Matcha needs to be whisked to mix with, watery, with water properly. To speed up the process and save money, instead of using a chasen, I'm using a milk frother. Chasen is a dedicated traditional matcha whisk. They're usually ridiculously expensive, and a simple Yukia milk frother works just as well. I took only I took only one child one with me, but I'm fine in drinking from a cup. If it's your first time drinking matcha, then you should experience it as intended. That's nice of you. I have no idea what a child one might be, but it's a nice gesture nevertheless. Okay, all done. Rune comes back, holding a cup in one paw and a weird bowl-shaped but a lot smaller vessel in the other. I'm slowly getting used to seeing Rune bare-chested and being so casual about it, but I still get a bit sheepish around him. I can only hope he's unaware of how much his presence affects me. Here you go. Well, this looks weird. It's very green, that's for sure. It, like, fresh grass, or... No, better keep it at that. It smells sort of grassy, too. Although, the smell isn't very strong. Don't look so worried, it's just tea. I drink a cup every morning. Wakes me up without making me all jittery, like coffee does. Now, without some hesitation, I grab the vessel, chaw one, and take a sip of this weird liquid. Uh oh. And you drink this every morning? Out of your own volition? The taste is strongly grassy, with a slight metallic aftertaste. Thankfully, it's not too bitter, not more than regular black tea, but it's still hard to swallow. Hey, it really works. I'm not drinking it for the taste, although I enjoy it nonetheless. It's not the highest quality matcha, but it does the job. You guess you get used to the taste. And if you don't, it tastes great with just a bit of water and a lot of almond milk. And if that's not enough, adding some sugar always makes it tastier. Matcha is becoming a popular ingredient in confectionery and baking, actually. It pairs very well with some sweets. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. Oh! I have an idea. If they have a tea house in town, I'm taking you there and getting you a matcha latte. That should change your mind. I've never been in one. It could be fun. Besides, I'm definitely not saying no to getting to spend more time with a rune. It would be nice, though I kind of doubt we could find one here. I'll check on the bus. If there aren't any, we'll think of something else to do. Rune takes a big sip of his matcha and licks his snout clean. Aren't you sitting down? It's getting a bit bright outside, but this looks uh, but this looks a bit concerning. Concerning. Sitting with my back to the window, I didn't notice anything. With the child one in my paw, I stand up and walk up to the window, looking outside. As Rune stands beside me, his arm brushes against mine, sending a jolt of electricity down my spine. But don't spill that. Matcha stains are hard as hell to get rid of. Um, yeah, I'll try. The gray, heavy sky is barely illuminated by the sun, still hidden behind the horizon. It's snowing heavily, so much, that the, so much that the falling flakes obscure the view on the mountains. The ground is completely covered in snow, and it must have been snowing the whole night. It does look concerning. I hoped it would stop snowing and I could go for a longer walk today. This looks like enough snow to cover, up, cover me up to the knees. Rune says nothing in response, still looking outside. We stand like that for a while, just sipping our matches, watching the snowflakes dance in the arctic wind. See? Waking up so early is nice. You can take your time with everything, and even find a moment to just stand at the window and look. I'm not saying it isn't, but I am saying I'm dead tired and hate everything. Huh, <laughs> it can't be that bad. Matcha doesn't work as fast as coffee. Give it a few minutes. You know, I might be wrong, but something tells me getting sleep is healthier than pumping yourself full of caffeine first thing in the morning. Well, I know, but it's a bit too late for that. Do you always wake up this early? 
Yeah, but I usually sleep better. It's my fault, isn't it? If he's living alone, sharing a bed with someone must have felt weird for him. Hey, don't feel guilty over that. How did you... Well, you have it written all over your face. I keep forgetting he's so perceptive. It amazes me, but it's also a bit scary. I'm not used to having people read me effortlessly like that. I often have problems sleeping, but and it's a first day in a new place. Even if I was here alone, I likely wouldn't have gotten much sleep either. Besides, I've been feeling a bit anxious since yesterday evening. I didn't get it a lot. I didn't get a lot done, and today we have lectures that I hope to learn a lot from. Wait a moment. What did you want to get done yesterday? Well, you know, anything. I have some papers I need to write, and I have a program for a uni project I need to work on. I have the songs I'm working on, and I started with and I started writing this one thing. But you know we're on a camp, right? I mean, I think we're supposed to relax here. Kinda, but also not. Remember, it's a science camp. And yeah, I want to wind down and relax a bit too, but yesterday, I went maybe a bit too well. I don't know if it's possible to relax too much. By the way, we should start getting ready. Breakfast is in 15 minutes, and I'd rather not be late. Mm hmm Good idea. Rune goes away to the wardrobe and takes out fresh clothes, while I walk over to the chair and put on, and put on the rest of my attire. Grabbing my camera bag, I suddenly get an idea. A rather stupid one, so I ask quickly before I have time to think it through. Rune, can I take a photo of you? Rune, currently putting on a t-shirt, stops and looks at me, clearly surprised. I mean, I got an instant photo camera not long before the trip, and it's a lot of fun, but I haven't done any portraits to you with it yet. Maybe I should have thought it through after all. If you don't like the idea, then I'll just drop it. Hmm. Actually, I like it, but I have one condition. I get to keep the photo. That defeats the point a bit, but I won't argue, especially since he agreed. Okay, just let me take out the camera. So it's, so it's good to be spontaneous sometimes. I open the bag and take the camera out. Turn it on and point the lens at Rune. Finding the right frame isn't hard. I only have to get a bit closer so that Rune takes up most of it. The film slides out of the camera. I grab it and put it inside the camera bag, but then I notice something at the bottom of the bag. Huh. Huh? Rune walks up to the table, looking inside the bag with me. Oh. Well, that's pretty great. At the bottom of the bag, there's the key to my room. It is! Yeah. I had the key with me this whole time. Why would I put the key there, though? I must have been really out of it yesterday morning. <laughs> wow, that was a stupid situation. Rune, I'm sorry, I had no idea I had the key with me. Hey, hey, it's okay. Even if you had your key, I wouldn't have had anything against letting you stay here. Well, unless you lied to me about losing the key. But I know you didn't. You look way too surprised for that. I don't really know what to say. Even if I would, even if it was okay, I can't help but feel stupid about it. It's nice of Rune to try to cheer me up, though. I was afraid he would get mad at me. Thanks, Rune. Man, I really need to work on my attentiveness. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah. At least now you have your key back with all my stuff. I should go to my room and change into fresh clothes, but we only have a few more minutes before breakfast. Eh, I'll go that I'll go that quickly right after. How's the photo, by the way? Oh, right, I already forgot about it. Instant photos need a moment to develop, but maybe it's done by now. Yep, there it is. That's the that's the thing on the uh, H.io page. Hell yeah. He looks so cute. God, he's so adorable looking. Ugh. Oh, God. Just appreciate that. It's a shame I can't keep it, though. Nice! The ankle is quite flattering. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I've been, I've been making videos all day. It's a good photo, Carbon. I'm not sure what to do with it, but it's nice to have it. Bet it would make for a good profile picture in a dating app. I don't like that idea, though. Rune having a profile on some dating app, flirting with strangers... Why would I care this much, though? The thought makes me very uneasy for some reason. I give Rune the photo and try to shake that feeling off. Anyway, it's getting late. I'll go wash my face and we can go. Oh, you're right. I'm all ready. We can go as soon as you're done. 
Putting the pressure of time and Rune's eyes on my back, I grab my toothbrush and enter the bathroom. I finished my morning maintenance quickly, grabbed the camera bag not to have to come back for it later, and me and Rune left the room together. Excited for today's lectures? We probably have a few together. For sure, there's a lot to overlap. There's a lot of overlap between our studies. My course is more interdisciplinary, so we get a wider but less in-depth knowledge. I'm really excited for the one on brain implants. I bet that's something you're attending too. Yeah, you're right. I'm excited for that one too, although I look forward even more to the one on consciousness. There's also a shorter one on experiments with M MDMA on treating traumas and PTSD. It was optional, but it sounded interesting, so I signed up. I read about the topic already, so I didn't feel the need to go. There's a lecture on language pattern rec recognition in dolphins. I'm attending that one with Miko. The only one lecture we share, actually. All the lectures are split into several different thematic blocks, to which we were assigned to be based on our current studies, but there were also some we could sign up to ourselves. Apart from us, the lectures will be attended by the students of the local university where the lectures are organized. I read a bit about the place before we arrived, and I was surprised to learn it's the world's northernmost university. What a place to study in. If you already read about the topic... Say, Carvin, what's your opinion on the usage of psychedelics for therapeutic purposes? Rune asked the question with a casual tone, but I heard a subtle note of tension in his voice. As if he had prepared the question much earlier and only waited for an opportunity to ask. It might be a good idea. Drugs are bad, okay? If you do drugs, you're bad. Because drugs are bad, okay? I mean, if they actually help people? The results of all the experiments so far have been positive and promising. There's, so, there's a social stigma around the topic, as well as a lot of legal issues, but ultimately, if they help people, why not? Staying open-minded but critical is important for scientists. There's a long road ahead for those for these substances before these substances can be used in actual therapy worldwide, but these experiments pave a way for that. I see. So, how much do you know about their effects and mechanisms of action? Uh, not that much, actually. I should know more, considering it's related to my studies, but we haven't had anything about them yet. I know that psychedelics bind to serotonin receptors and activate them, and that contrary to the popular beliefs, they're not highly hallucinogenic. And I know they're being tested for usage in psychotherapy before they were criminalized, and I know they're being tested for treatment of depression and for a, of, a, of blah. And I know they're being tested for of, they're being tested for treatment of depression and addiction. What a funny thought, using illegal drugs for a treatment of addiction. True, but they themselves have no potential for physical addiction. They increase neuroplasticity and deregulate the default node network, the large brain network used mostly for reflection, so they bring a patient to a sort of blank slate state for a while. For the duration of the trip, their habits are suppressed, including negative thoughts and impulses. They come back later, but the patients are better equipped to reflect on them and break free of them. It's not all so straightforward, though. That's just one aspect of it. It's all more nuanced. What makes you ask about that, though? It's not something I thought I'd be discussing when going for a breakfast first thing in the morning. Oh, I'm doing a meta-analysis of various studies on the topic for one of my classes. Having someone else take a look at the paper before I submit it would be cool. Oh, I doubt I'd be the right person for that, but I could take a look. Great. I'll tell you when I'll have it ready, then. We arrive a bit earlier than seven, and the cafeteria is almost empty. A few students that already here are here at a few students that already here are sit at their tables in silence, sleepily staring into space or at the cups of coffee in front of them. Surprisingly, there's no one from the faculty yet. Honestly, I expected more people here, considering we're leaving in an hour. It's still a lot of time. If he didn't wake me up, I'd probably be getting out of bed now. Yeah, sorry about that. It's fine. Though, I'd hoped I'd at least see the sunrise as a nice reward for the early wake-up. The world outside is still dark and gray, as if someone drained all the color from it. Morning, Carvin. Rune. Why are you standing in the middle of the cafeteria? Oh, Miko! Hello there. We just got here, and we were looking around for familiar faces. Well, now we found one. How about we sit like we did at dinner to yesterday? Gah. <clears throat> Good idea. The others should be up for it, too. Rune and I grab one table and join it with the other, carefully as the tables are set already. Then I sit down next to Rune, and Miko takes the spot opposite to me. 
Weird that Devin isn't here yet. He's an early bird. By the way, why isn't he sitting with the rest of the faculty? No, oh, he could, but the age difference between them and the professors is greater than between him and me. They don't have many topics in common, so they'd just be exchanging pleasantries the whole time. How old is he? I thought he's around 35 or something? 30 this year. Oh, okay, I didn't expect that. So, how did your night go? You slept well? You both seem rather energetic, so I'd assume so. Oh, no, I barely got any sleep. Some matcha today, some matcha today morning lifted me up, otherwise I'd be barely alive now. I could use some more sleep. I'll try napping in the bus. Ah. Alright guys, there we go. That is a new episode. God, my throat is starting to crack. Okay, I've done eight videos today. Uh, you guys are probably going to be... Well, you guys are going to be watching this later in the week, so yeah. If my voice seems like it's cracking a little bit, or breaking up, it's because I've done eight of these videos in one day. Oh, and I am ready for a break. I'll, I'll, I'll pick this up tomorrow. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell to the next video. I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!